The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desire brings weak results, just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. You are the master of your destiny. You can influence, direct and control your own environment. You can make your life what you want it to be. When defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not sound, rebuild those plans, and set sail once more toward your coveted goal. If you can't do great things, do small things in a great way. Do not wait, the time will never be just right. Start where you stand, and work whatever tools you may have at your command and better tools will be found as you go along. Set your mind on a definite goal and observe how quickly the world stands aside to let you pass. When your desires are strong enough, you will appear to possess superhuman powers to achieve. The possibilities of creative effort connected with the subconscious mind are stupendous and imponderable. They inspire one with awe. You may be hurt if you love too much, but you will live in misery if you love too little. The man who does more than he is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. A quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. Happiness is found in doing, not merely possessing. Our only limitations are those we set up in our own minds. Don't wait. The time will never be just right. Every adversity, every failure, every heartbreak, carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. More gold had been mined from the mind of men than the earth itself. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Opinions are the cheapest commodities on earth. Everyone has a flock of opinions ready to be wished upon anyone who will accept them. If you are influenced by opinions, when you reach decisions, you will not succeed in any undertaking. We refuse to believe that which we don't understand. Cherish your vision and your dreams as they are the children of your soul, the blueprints of your ultimate achievements. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity, because I know that a negative attitude toward others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me, because I will believe in them and in myself. To win the big stakes in this changed world, you must catch the spirit of the great pioneers of the past whose dreams have given to civilization all that it has of value, the spirit that serves as the lifeblood of our own country, your opportunity and mine to develop and market our talents. Wise men, when in doubt whether to speak or to keep quiet, give themselves the benefit of the doubt and remain silent. Hold a picture of yourself long and steadily enough in your mind's eye, and you will be drawn toward it. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Put your foot upon the neck of the fear of criticism by reaching a decision not to worry about what other people think, do, or say. 
When you are able to maintain your own highest standards of integrity, regardless of what others may do, you are destined for greatness. Perhaps we shall learn, as we pass through this age, that the other self is more powerful than the physical self we see when we look into a mirror. Helen Keller became deaf, dumb, and blind shortly after birth. Despite her greatest misfortune, she has written her name indelibly in the pages of the history of the great. Her entire life has served as evidence that no one is ever defeated until defeat has been accepted as reality. There are no limitations to the mind except those that we acknowledge. If you do not conquer self, you will be conquered by self. Those who succeed in an outstanding way seldom do so before the age of 40. More often, they do not strike their real pace until they are well beyond the age of 50. Tell the world what you intend to do, but first show it. This is the equivalent of saying deeds, and not words, are what count most. You've got to be sure of yourself before. You can ever win a prize. Neglecting to broaden their view has kept some people doing one thing all their lives. Persistence is to the character of man as carbon is to steel. A genius is simply one who has taken full possession of his own mind and directed it toward objectives of his own choosing, without permitting outside influences to discourage or mislead him. If you are not learning while you're earning, you are cheating yourself out of the better portion of your compensation. Any ideas, plan, or purpose may be placed in the mind through repetition of thought. If you must speak ill of another, do not speak it, write it in the sand near the water's edge. The strongest oak of the forest is not the one that is protected from the storm and hidden from the sun. It's the one that stands in the open where it is compelled to struggle for its existence against the winds and rains and the scorching sun. Weak desires bring weak results, just as a small amount of fire brings a small amount of heat. First comes thought, then organization of that thought, into ideas and plans, then transformation of those plans into reality. The beginning, as you will observe, is in your imagination. Remember that your dominating thoughts attract. Through a definite law of nature, by the shortest and most. Convenient route, their physical counterpart. Be careful what your thoughts dwell upon. You become what you think about. Desire is the starting point of all achievement, not a hope, not a wish, but a keen pulsating desire which transcends everything. Most great people have attained their greatest success just one step beyond their greatest failure. Awake, arise, and assert yourself, you dreamers of the world. Your star is now in ascendancy. Most so-called failures are only temporary defeats. If you believe yourself unfortunate, because you have loved and lost, perish the thought. One who has loved truly, can never lose entirely. Effort only fully releases its reward after a person refuses to quit. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve, regardless of how many times you may have failed in the past, or how lofty your aims and hopes may be. 
The only limitation is that which one sets up in one's own mind. Every man is what he is, because of the dominating thoughts which he permits to occupy his mind. Desire backed by faith knows no such word as impossible. The person who makes persistence his watchword, discovers that old man failure finally becomes tired and makes his departure. Failure cannot cope with persistence. Adversity will do something to you or for you. Success in life depends upon happiness, and happiness is found in no other way than through service that is rendered in a spirit of love. Both success and failure are largely the results of habit. The capacity to surmount failure without being discouraged is the chief asset of every person who attains outstanding success in any calling. A great many years ago I purchased a fine dictionary. The first thing I did with it was to turn to the word impossible and neatly clip it out of the book. That would not be an unwise thing for you to do. The world has the habit of making room for the man whose words and actions show that he knows where he is going. Mind control is the result of self-discipline and habit. You either control your mind or it controls you. There is no hallway compromise. It is your responsibility to make sure that positive emotions constitute the dominating influence of your mind. Opportunity. It often comes disguised in the form of misfortune or temporary defeat. There are no limitations to the mind except those we acknowledge. Both poverty and riches are the offspring of thought. The cause of the depression is traceable directly to the worldwide habit of trying to reap without sowing. Knowledge is only potential power. It becomes power only when, and if, it is organized into definite plans of action, and directed to a definite end. Failure is man-made circumstance. It is never real until accepted by man as permanent. Successful men become successful only because they acquire the habit of thinking in terms of success. Dreams are the seedlings of reality. The most practical of all methods for controlling the mind is the habit of keeping it busy with a definite purpose, backed by a definite plan. If you are ready for the secret, you already possess one half of it, therefore, you will readily recognize the other half the moment it reaches your mind. Every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent success. The oak sleeps in the acorn. The bird waits in the egg, and in the highest vision of the soul, a waking angel stirs. Dreams are the seedlings of reality. No man has a chance to enjoy permanent success until he begins to look in a mirror for the real cause of all his mistakes. Procrastination is the bad habit of putting up until the day after tomorrow what should have been done the day before yesterday. There is very little difference in people, but that little difference makes a big difference. The little difference is attitude. The big difference is whether it is positive or negative. It takes half your life before you discover life is a do-it-yourself project.
Failure is a trickster with a keen sense of irony and cunning. It takes great delight in tripping one when success is almost within reach. Your only limitation is the one which you set up in your own mind. Remember that your real wealth can be measured not by what you have, but by what you are. If you fail to control your own mind, you may be sure you will control nothing else. It is literally true that you can succeed best and quickest by helping others to succeed. No one can make you jealous, angry, vengeful, or greedy, unless you let him. Every great leader of the past, whose record I have examined, was beset by difficulties and met with temporary defeat before arriving. Success requires no explanations. Failure permits no alibis. Patience, persistence and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success. Every man is what he is, because of the dominating thoughts which he permits to occupy his mind. No man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. It is literally true that you can succeed best and quickest by helping others to succeed. Remember that your real wealth can be measured not by what you have, but by what you are. No one can make you jealous, angry, vengeful, or greedy, unless you let him. Success requires no explanations. Failure permits no alibis. Every great leader of the past, whose record I have examined, was beset by difficulties and met with temporary defeat before arriving. Patience, persistence and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success. No man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. Your poverty is serving no one. If you're a charitable person, you'd be a whole lot more charitable if you had lots of money. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Have a nice day.